Hi hey guys, welcome to our daily encounter. You know, at some point in our lives, we're going to reach uh, situations and circumstances in which we feel overwhelmed. When uh, the problems, the difficulties seem too big for us to uh, engage in them and overcome them. And it's important for us to know how to respond in such circumstances. And I think Deuteronomy chapter 20, especially the first part of Deuteronomy chapter 20, gives us some good insight on what to do when we feel overwhelmed. In verse 1, it starts out, When you go out to battle against your enemies and see horses and chariots and people more numerous than you, do not be afraid of them. And then it goes on. Here Moses is giving instructions to the children of Israel in connection to uh, circumstances in which they might go out to battle and they're just completely outnumbered. Uh, numerically speaking, they don't have a chance in winning the battle. And so this can relate to situations in which we feel overwhelmed when we feel like we cannot uh, successfully engage in the battle or overcome the difficulty, whatever it may be. But there's uh, three things that they need to remember, and there's three things that we can remember uh, in times in which we feel overwhelmed. And the first thing that is brought out is that God was going to be with them. It says, uh, For the Lord your God, who brought you from the land of Egypt, is with you. And that's something that can encourage us as well. It would encourage them when they go out to battle, even when they're outnumbered, to remember that God is with them. And if God is with them, they're never outnumbered. And the same thing is true with us as well. When God is with us, and He is always with us, there is no challenge too big for God. If He is with us, He can carry us through and bring us to the other side of that difficult situation that we find ourselves in. The second thing is, is that we need people in our lives who can cheer us on. We need cheerleaders in our lives who can encourage us when it comes to these various situations. Uh, it says... In verse 3, uh, I'm sorry, verse 2, it says, When you are approaching the battle, the priest shall come near and speak to the people. Verse 3, He shall say to them, Hear, O Israel, you are approaching the battle against your enemies today. Do not be faint-hearted. Do not be afraid or panic or tremble before them. For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. What an encouragement this would be to the army as they are about to gauge in a battle in which they are outnumbered, to have these priests, these holy people, speaking out these words of encouragement to them, to let them know that uh, that they should not be faint-hearted or they shouldn't be afraid or panic or tremble because God is with them and he will fight the battle against their enemies to save them. That would be uh, extremely encouraging. And that can help us too when we feel overwhelmed. To have a good support group around us that can encourage us, that can tell us, hey, you know, yeah, it looks difficult, but you can make it through. Think of all the other times that God has been there for you, and he's going to be there for you this time as well. And just give us a word of encouragement. And I think that's what the church, uh, or part of why the church is there, so that we can be cheerleaders for one another, so that we can encourage one another and let each other know that no battle is too big for the Lord. But then lastly, uh, we should not distress. Uh, you know, we should not distress because we uh, we feel overwhelmed. Because God doesn't need a large a army. He doesn't need. We don't need a, a whole lot of big resources to overcome our difficulties necessarily. But God can conquer, even when the situation is overwhelming. Um, I won't read all of these verses just for time's sake, but. As you go on and you read uh, verses 5 through 9, uh, uh, it's almost humorous the way that the, the officers were to go to the people and, and they're like, hey, you know, if you've built a new house, uh, go home. If you've planted a vineyard, hey, go ahead and go home. If you're engaged to a woman and you haven't married her yet, go home. And he says, well, you know what? Even if you're afraid or faint-hearted, go home. And the idea here is that you know what, there's no need to inconvenience anybody because we don't need a big army. Even though we're overwhelmed, even though uh, the army we're going against is huge, hey, you know, God is with us. We're, our numbers aren't going to be what's going to determine the victory. It's the fact that God is with us. 
And that's a good thing for us to remember when we feel overwhelmed. Maybe we, we look around and think, oh, hey, we don't have enough resources to come against this problem. Maybe mental resources or uh, resources as far as enough energy to get through or, or whatever the case may be. We need to just relax, breathe deeply, and recognize that God is in control. And even if it feels as though we don't have enough resources uh, to engage in this situation, if we have God with us, we have everything that we need. And we can just relax. We can uh, cast our burdens upon him and he can shoulder the burden for us. And so uh, we should not panic, should not distress, uh, but recognize that God is there with us. So these are some things that we can remember when we are feel overwhelmed. We can remember that God is with us. If God is with us, we're, we, we're never overwhelmed. We should never be overwhelmed. We, we always have... Um, we're never outnumbered, so to speak. Two, that we need people in our lives who can cheer us on, who can encourage us. And then third, that we shouldn't have to stress out about uh, how we're going to meet the challenge, but God uh, is there with us. And so these are some things that we can remember when we feel overwhelmed. So uh, if you're feeling overwhelmed today, or if you feel overwhelmed in the future, maybe it would be helpful to remember Deuteronomy chapter 20 and remember these various principles we find there. So with that, guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.